What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, Ronda Rousey WWE Royal Rumble return by none other than Polana Productions. I've actually seen uh, multiple people that I'm subscribed to been talking about this. I'm not sure if this uh, is you know a rumor or a leak, but the rumor is she's supposed to return at this year's Royal Rumble for the women's side of things. I'm not so sure, you know, how this is going to play out. We will see. Um, but I appreciate our love and support. Road to 70K. And let's see uh, what Polana Productions has to say about these rumors. Mania 35 loss in 2019, the WWE Universe has not seen the former UFC champion as well as the former Raw Women's Champ. Nearly three years later, and there is a real possibility that Ronda Rousey could return to WWE this Saturday for the Royal Rumble. I will say, because of this report, I am even more excited for this pay-per-view this weekend now. It's been reported that the WWE has internally discussed potential plans for Ronda Rousey to enter the Women's Royal Rumble match. According to PW Insider, it's pretty much all on Ronda at this point. The WWE clearly wants her, and she just needs to say the words. If she wants to come back, the company is most likely going to make her the main focus of the women's division for the next Obviously. few months. A WWE official even flew over to California to personally meet and speak with Rousey. PW inside. Oh yeah, they're gonna throw buku about some money at her to get her to come. Obviously, that would be a big talking point through the you know during the Royal Rumble if she does and make her appearance and after the Royal Rumble it's really going to get a lot of eyes on WWE I'm pretty sure probably Sports Center is going to make you know talk about it it, it would be a big thing but I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on it as a whole after the video Snyder also reported that Ronda's WWE makeup artist and stylist has been locked in for the Royal Rumble and Monday Night Raw mm. for weeks and weeks, which I can only assume means up to WrestleMania. Yeah. If that doesn't scream that this is probably going to happen, I don't know what else does. Then again, these wrestling reporters are sometimes wrong too, so you can never really fully trust these things to fall into oh, place. God, damn. That's how I felt about the story until I saw Fightful Select bring up a new report stating that Rousey has been training. Mm. I don't think she would be training right now if there wasn't a high chance that she would appear at the Rumble. Dave Meltzer also said that there are plans on the table for Rousey to be at WrestleMania 38, which could kick off at the Royal Rumble this Saturday. I don't really Yeah, if she's training, she's not training just to train. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she's getting back into the octagon. Um, so if she's training, there's a good chance she could possibly uh, make an appearance. Totally believe all the wrestling reports because they're sometimes wrong. However, this one seems like it's too true to not happen, especially because many different reporters are coming out with news regarding the return. I'm going to predict that Ronda Rousey does indeed come back to WWE this weekend. I'm even going to say that I'm changing my opinion on who I think should win the women's Royal Rumble match. Initially, initially, the first time I said it should have been Sasha Banks, and I still think if she did not get that injury, she should have won. But because of the injury, that changed to Bianca Belair. I feel like she would have been a great option, and this would give her the much needed momentum that she needs to become a superstar again on the top of the card. A Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair feud for Mania season sounds like a ton of fun. It would be cool. I mean, granted, you know, her winning twice, I'm not so sure about that. But if that's the way to get her in the match, I'm okay with it. As long as you're going to put the champion, as long as you're going to put the strap back on her in a meaningful way, cool. They could also were, mean if they were the first to go there. Of WrestleMania 38. But with the new rumors, I'm going to say that Ronda Rousey should definitely win the Rumble if she does indeed come back. Here's the thing about that. If she does come back, obviously she's winning. You're not going to have her come back to lose. But once again, I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions after this video. Although Bianca does need her redemption, the WWE can put that on hold because Becky versus Ronda is a much bigger match. It is the singles match that we desperately wanted in 2019. As we know, Charlotte entered that feud, and I think that is when it all went downhill. The story that was a crazy segment was between Becky and Ronda. That was the money feud. Adding Charlotte to it 
just made the entire yeah. thing feel way too forced. The WWE finally has the opportunity to give us the match we want to see originally a few years ago. On top of that, as I said before, this can literally headline WrestleMania because that is how big it is. And when I say headline, I don't mean main eventing the first night of WrestleMania, I mean main eventing night two. Ronda versus Becky is bigger than Brock versus Roman because of I can I, I can see why he would say that depending on how they book it and the roles have pretty much reversed Ronda coming back she's an instant face Becky is a heel now I think that could work and I, I do see why someone would say that would be the bigger match because we've seen Brock and Roman so many times but this would be something really fresh to just have them to go at it nobody else being added to it but once again, I'm going to give my thoughts All on the these reasons, after the video. I think it is the only right decision for WWE to put Ronda Rousey in this position. As much as it would suck for Bianca Belair, business is business, and this is the right business decision. It wouldn't even be a bad idea if Bianca Belair could possibly get a big victory over Ronda Rousey to win back her Raw Women's Championship. Cool. If anything, that might be an even bigger moment than a win over Becky Lynch, to be completely honest with you. Therefore, my final opinion is that if Ronda Rousey does come back, she should win the Rumble, and after winning it, she should main event the second night of WrestleMania with Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's Championship. And if none of this happens, then I think Bianca Belair should definitely win the Rumble. Do All right. Here's my take on it. Uh, I I agree with some of his points. And I'm going to break those down. If she does come to the Royal Rumble this weekend, it's a clear, she has to win it. You do not bring her back to have her lose. Now, the downside to that is kind of what I've been preaching in the past. You bring back somebody you know she's not really going to be full-time like that. She'll be here for the WrestleMania season. And it kind of pushes everyone that you have already on the roster. You kind of put them to the side like you're not as big as her, which they're not. You know what I'm saying? So it, it kind of sucks for the talent that's been there. But in this situation, I get it only because they're trying to bring in the views. They're trying to bring in the money. They're, they're trying to get some buzz. And be honest with you, the women's division is lackluster. Outside of the, the main people that we know, the five, six women that are really being featured, is lackluster. And that's part of WWE's fault because they don't, they haven't really been pushing no other women. And they don't really take their matches or their feuds seriously. As you can tell with the women's queen of the ring. They, they didn't take that seriously at all. So, um, and they've let go so many women, so many uh, women wrestlers. They barely don't even have the roster for that. Hence, that's why Lita came back and other people are probably going to come back. Because they don't have enough people for the damn match between both shows. Unless they bring up somebody from, from women from NXT that a lot of them, the casual fans, not even, they're not even going to really know who these women are. So... But my issue I would have with that is, like I just said, her coming back is cool. Her winning it, I I understand it's probably what happened. But once again, it just kind of puts the other women to the back. Like, yeah, well, we're just going to... We got to bring in Ronda Rousey because we ain't really got nothing else. We haven't pushed nobody else really realistically to carry the Rumble, uh, Royal Rumble. So we're just going to put Ronda in there. And if Ronda's in there majority of them women don't even legitimately stand a chance and it's like yo what's the point just go ahead and give her the win everybody just jump out the ring pretty much damn near not everybody but majority of y'all jump out the ring like and that's once again wwe's fault um if she does come back if she wins i'm okay with them going with the becky ronda feud i actually am okay with that just them two no one else just them two alone no one added to the match i'm okay with them building towards that because it makes sense now becky is a heel ronda is a face they can really go back and forth on the promos on twitter and stuff like that um so i guess i guess uh that would be a, a an ideal match to see at uh this year's uh wrestlemania and then kind of what he was saying maybe give bianca Belair that rub to have uh, Ronda Rousey lose to Bianca Belair. I think that would be pretty cool too. You know, so I don't know. 
we'll see what happens uh but these are some of the rumors that's been going around and uh it is bringing some type of excitement to the women's match because outside of that did anyone really care about the women's match this year no because they didn't do they did do a good job of making you care about the women's division like they should have so this is definitely bringing some intrigue and excitement to that match even if it's not true this is definitely bringing some type of excitement to the women's royal rumble but comment down below let me know do you guys agree with if it does happen ronda winning the royal rumble main event in wrestlemania against becky lynch or do you guys think it should be somebody else on the roster i would like it to be somebody else on the roster but if ronda's there she's winning it's all about the bottom dollar bringing in the, the extra money. So you, you kind of know where that's heading. So appreciate all the love and support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all keeping with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.